It's hard. I never thought I'd stand before a crowd of Democrats and refer to a president as a liar so many times. No, I'm not trying to be funny. It's sad. Trump continues to lie about the border. Here's what he won't tell you. Trump killed the strongest bipartisan border deal in the history of the United States. That we negotiated with the Senate Republican took four months, four weeks. Once it passed, and they acknowledged the most expansive border change in American history. He called senators to say, don't support the bipartisan bill. Because he said it would help me politically and hurt him politically. My God. No, I'm serious. Think about it. Not a joke. Ask even the press who doesn't like me. They'll tell you that's true. <laughs> Typically, Trump, once again, putting himself first and America last. Then I had to take executive action. The result of the executive action I took, border encounters have dropped over 50 percent. In fact, there are fewer border crossings today than when Donald Trump left office. And unlike Trump, we will not demonize immigrants, saying they're the poison of blood of America. Poison the blood of our country. Kamala and I are committed to strengthening legal immigration, including protecting dreamers and more. And here's what else I believe in. Protecting your freedom, your freedom to vote, your freedom to love who you love. and your freedom to choose. And it's, the, and it's decision over turning Roe v. Wade, as you heard earlier tonight. The United States Supreme Court majority wrote the following, quote, women are not without electrical, without, not allowed, not without electoral, electoral or political power. No kidding. MAGA Republicans found out the power of women in 2022. And Donald Trump is going to find out the power of women in 2024. Watch. And where Trump and his mega Republican right wingers seek to erase history, we Democrats continue to write history and make more history. I'm proud. I'm proud to have kept my commitment to appoint the first black woman in the United States Supreme Court. Katanji Brown Jackson. A symbol for every young woman in America that you can do anything. I'm proud that I've kept my commitment to have an administration that looks like America and that taps in to the full talent of our nation. The most diverse cabinet in history, including the first black woman in South Asian descent to serve as vice president. and will soon serve as the 47th President of the United States. She is good. Look. Thank you, Kamala.